Hey folks, my grandfather, old friends and family, all my international visitors. I just want to dedicate this ride today to my friends Uli and Lydia and the Grand Fondo volunteer family and everyone that helped put this fantastic event and experience together. This ride is for you guys. I look forward to my trip to New York, hanging out with all of you in the fun zone at the finish line. For sure the expo, come by and see me at the meet and greet booth. Anyway, for those that are joining us and for those that are not, peace from the Grand Fondo New York family and team. Thank you. Good morning. This is my Grand Fondo New York leg test fitness ride for all my peeps that are attending. I know that it's a little light rain in New York City right now with uh, probable cause of more rain later on throughout the week. But don't worry folks, I'm out there doing the ride for you. I'm passing through my beach town here, Solana Beach. Really nice day. So I'm heading out for a minimum 75 hilly mile ride. Not with pushing the pace or anything like that. But uh, I got my buddy Jeff. He's back there somewhere. Oh, I'm able to sit the wheel a little bit and relax. So, all my peeps attending Grand Fondo, New York, get ready. Hopefully you're riding your bicycle and uh, prepare yourself to have some fun. Sit the wheel, ride with Nelly. Swami's A group just passed me. Now we start to climb into the residential. Robert Nelly. Just made a right turn into the Elfin Forest. I guess the B group is right behind me now. 24 miles into it, one hour, 25 minutes. Pretty good bike ride. We got another 75 plus to go. You ride with Nelly. On a fitness Grand Fondo leg ride. We'll see ya.
on a few wheels. Uh, during the forest, I take a shortcut out of the park, and those dudes, they stop at a church or something and regroup. What you saw, they caught up to me because of my shortcut, so I cut out like two miles and get in front of them, and then they pass me again. But now I made the right turn, the left turn, off that busy road, now I'm on a two-lane residential, pretty peaceful. And uh, now for the next 20 k's or so, I'm gonna zigzag on a hilly residential road. I'll be back once I dip down and climb this uh, fun 2k climb. Pretty cool. Again, it's a quiet road and uh, it gets my legs ready for the Grand Fondo New York. Because if you haven't written it or if you see the profile, it's like a shark tooth, shark teeth and uh, it's ups and downs. So left turn uphill, right turn uphill. The only flat spot is the rest areas. But I like to say to my friends that are doing the Grand Final New York and you know who you are, it's so hard, it's fun. If you train to do well, you should be okay. If you ride to do well, you should be okay. If you sit on your ass, expecting to do it, you're screwed. One week to go, America, world. Ride with Nelly, Grand Fondo, New York. I'll see you guys there. We'll be back with more. This is my view.
put down on the valley floor um, in this gated community residential. Again, night homes. I did a short clip on this. Uh, usually right down here there's a water crossing. Uh, looks pretty dry right now. And there's some hidden sleeping police for these clubs. People crash with them all the time. It's weird. It's like they come speeding down here and forget about it. But this is like where the water would be, somewhere right around here. Now we have a nice 9 to 11% 2K climb. Um, we're just going to take our time. I'm going to drop the arm warmers now. So, oh, here it is. There's your water crossing. We don't want to get the shoes wet or the bike wet, but it's not so deep. So, stand by. the climb. We just go up. All the way up. The direction where God is. Here we go, folks. I'll be back at the top. All right. We're back. Two hours, 40 minutes into the morning. 42 miles. Still on the two plus K climb. Steep part is over with. Now I'm just about to navigate my way over the top. Heart rate, talking. 155. The compact gears are working great. Just for you guys that don't know, my grandfather, friends, and family. I weighed in at 217. When I started my quest, I was at a fat ass 228, almost 230. But uh, eating right, and just putting in the miles. Didn't even do any gymnasium stuff. Putting in the miles, playing in a pool, sauna. So now, uh, Feeling pretty good for the 10 plus pounds that was that is not being missed. We're almost at the top, Grand Fondo. But we're doing good. You ride with Nelly. Grand Fondo, New York. Fitness leg test ride. We're doing it, man. We're gonna have some fun this weekend. One week from the day. Fit the wheel. Almost at the top. Car coming over the top. So, just a heads up, a little bit of advice, but what do I know? I only want to be a pro for a day. So, for those of you participating with us this weekend, it's great to post your Strava time. You can actually check out this ride on my Relive. It's the link that's gonna be posted uh, with this Facebook post. 
But uh, word to the wise, I'm out here doing a solo 75, 80 miles. It's just me and my shadow. This time with no music, uh, just the birds and wildlife. Uh, but just me and my shadow. So for you guys that are riding this event, uh, yeah, you get with the groups, you stay with uh, the wheels, you're feeling good, you're not feeling so good. You make that effort to stay with that wheel, that might put you in a red. So since you plan on a big day with Grand Final New York, a lot of times your shadow is your buddy. Although a wheel is a terrible thing to waste, you don't want to go in the red. So if you fight to stay on that wheel, you may not live for the final 30 miles of the Grand Fondo New York Championships. And uh, don't finish strong. You want to be fresh for dinner and the party at the finish line as well. So stay within your limit. Stay within your heart rate. The clock is going to tick whether you go for it or not. If it leaves you behind, you want to live to see another day. You want to have a good time at the Grand Fondo New York. You want to enjoy the experience. So, again, stick with your shadow, not with the wheel in front of you if it's not going at your pace. Bring it back a notch, live to see another day, have a great time, and enjoy the experience at the Grand Final New York. You heard it first from Nelson Vales, U.S. Olympic champion, Ride With Nelly. We'll be back with some more. We're gonna head, continue east, kind of south, and then to the coast, we'll be back. Ride with Nelly back on the 56 freeway bike path. 20 Ks, 20 Ks to the ocean from this point. So if you look it up on Strava or my Relive, you'll see why I popped out on the uh, bike path and uh, head along the freeway straight to the coast. Go up Torrey Pines Hill, up and around La Jolla, back and around to the driveway. We'll see ya. Grand Fondo, New York training. Ride with Nelly. All right, ride with Nelly back. 20 Ks later, uh, down to the valley floor, and now we at sea level at the Pacific Ocean. My driveway is only two and a half Ks in the valley here. But now we're gonna climb that mountain right there inside the park. Uh, pretty big, steepy uh, to climb up into the park, but I'll take my time. Again, just assimilate any little climbs for the Grand Fondo New York Sunday, a week from today. So other than that, you ride with Nelly. Uh, only a short 100 Ks into the day, but we're gonna continue on. There's plenty of cyclists out. And uh, it's a nice day. Temperature is a little chilly, so the arm warmers are going up and down. But again, thanks for all you people that's gonna join us this weekend. And for those that miss it this year, we'll see you next year for the Grand Fondo New York. You're riding with Nelly, getting in the miles so we can have a good time. All right, ride with Nelly back. Riding with Linda Webb. Yeah, so the group is here. I got lucky to connect with them to tack on a few extra Grand Fondo Lake Fitness Miles. So we'll take those guys into their base, which is the uh, bike store, however far that is. If you hear that squeaking, that's my brakes because I never use them, so they squeak. But uh, nice group here in the sunshine. And uh, where are we headed? To the bike store? UC Cyclery. So we'll head to UC Cyclery, then I'll double back. And then we'll look at the Strava and we'll see whatever miles is the miles for the day. Right? Yeah. All right, folks. You're riding with Nelly. Grand Fondo New York Fitness Training. We'll see you guys. Robert Nelly back. 
from the last episode. Rode with the group to UC Cycleries where they do their meet and greet to start their ride. Said hello to a few folks. And then, uh, said my goodbyes and continued my ride. I'm sitting right now at about 75 miles, not at about, sitting right at 75 miles at the top. Entering the top of Carmel Mountain. Now, I live in Carmel Valley, and I'm heading to the top of Carmel Mountain, and then I'll dip down to the driveway uh, in Carmel Valley. So, it should be a short 80 miles day plus, but feeling physically fitness ready to have a good time with all my friends, my international friends at the Grand Fondo New York. Be riding with Nelly. Just out for a bike ride, me and my shadow. See the green tape? Getting ready. Grand Fondo ready. We'll be back with more to close it out. Nelly, 80 miles, short five and a half hours, totally prepared, no excuses, Grand Fondo New York Championships ready for a recreational ride. Sit the wheel, folks. <laughs>